good morning to one and all i am rv kiran assistant professor department of mechanical engineering chebrol engineering college today in this video lecture i am going to explain you about the angular measurement of an instrument that is bevel protractor so this bevel protractor is one of the measuring instrument in the angular devices in the previous classes we have discussed about the sign bar slip gauges which is of angular type that is angular measurement and this is my 13th lecture regarding the subject metrology so our topic is bevel protractor first of all this is a basic type of angular measurement instrument and this is the simplest instrument for measuring the angle between two faces of a component so generally these are used to measure two faces of a component and it consists of a base plate attach it to the main body so this is called the base plate attach it to the main body here you can see it in the picture also so this is the bevel protractor and this is the base plate attach it to the main body this is the main body in which it consists of a scale and a vernier scale and this is the blade and this is the base plate an adjustable blade is capable of rotating freely about the center of the main scale engraved on the body of the instrument and can be locked in any position so these can be locked at any position with respect to the main scale so this is the main scale of measurement here and this is the base plate and this is the parallel edge support that is the for the acute angle at a, um, measurement or any other so this is all the base plate for the acute angle attachment and this is the blade for the support of the protractor so when you are going to measure this this is for the surface and this is for the angle measurement and this is the main scale here and this is the vernier scale that is the vernier bevel protractor so these are the main type of parts in the bevel protractor here you can see it in the picture also so generally these type of instruments are used for the angle between two faces so here this is one face and this is the second face and we are going to measure the angle between these two parallel faces so we are going to measure these two parallel faces by using the bevel protractor next this bevel protractor that is vernier bevel protractor is the simplest instrument for measuring the angle between two faces of a component so we already know that and the main scale on the protractor is divided into degrees from 0 to 90 each way so that is this is the main scale and these are divided into 90 degrees in each way so each way means so from the clockwise you can see the 0 10 22 80 and 90 degrees and from the anti clockwise direction also there is the same engravement of readings that is 0 10 20 30 40 and up to 90 so there is equally divided into degrees from the each way that is of each way here in the picture you can see the two types of vernier bevel protractors one without angular attachment 
that is the acute angle attachment and one with the acute angle attachment so without and with angle acute angle attachment so this is the acute angle attachment working as the used as the working edge for the vernier bevor contractor so this is the vernier scale which is taken on the glass plate like structure and this is the main scale and this is the blade locking nut which is inscribed by a blade here and this is the main body and this is called as stock so generally with the angle acute angle attachment is widely used in the industries as well as the other purposes but these are less used compared to with angle with the acute angle attachment without acute angle attachment there is no purpose need so only for the special purposes only they are going to use the without acute angle attachment readings and in the without acute angle attachment the readings are uh, from the both sides that is in the each way in the clockwise and anti clockwise direction the an acute angle attachment is provided at the top for the purpose of measuring acute angles so that is for measuring the acute angles we are going to measure this so what is mean by an acute angle so that is up to 90 degrees we are going to measure the acute angles in engineering drawing you can know about that so these these are going to measure the acute angles only the base of the base plate is made flat so that it could be laid flat upon the work and any type of work and any type of angle can be measured easily so these plate uh, base plate is made with the flatness and parallel edges that it could be laid flat upon the work piece and any type of angular measurement can be easily measured with that base plate so that is the main reason for attaching the base plate to be flat next one these are capable of measuring from 0 to 360 degrees so generally these bevel protractors are used to measure 0 to 360 degrees up to 360 degrees it can be measured and it consists of two scale a main scale and a vernier scale so in the picture you can see that so it consists of two scale so the top most one that is the, the upper part portion of the scale is called the vernier main scale and the lower one which is minute to the main scale is called as vernier scale so this is the main scale and this is the vernier scale and this vernier scale has 24 divisions coinciding with 23 main scale divisions so this vernier scale has 24 divisions which coinciding with 23 main scale divisions so you can see the 24 divisions on the vernier scale which is attached to the main scale readings and graved on it next the least count of the instrument is 5 degrees so the least count is 5 so that is about the acute angle attachment of the bevel protractor next a recent development of the instrument 
is the optical bevel protract so generally there are different types of protractors to be needed and in this a recent development is the optical bevel protract so by using the optical instruments the optical bevel protract is made and it consists of a glass circuit divided at 10 intervals so 10 minute intervals throughout the whole 360 degrees which is fitted inside the main body so this is attached on a glass circuit so that is optical measurements are generally made with the glass bodies only which is divided at 10 degrees interval throughout the whole 360 degrees which is fitted inside the main body readings and a small microscope is fitted through which the circle graduations can be viewed so a small microscope is also fitted through the circle graduations in which it can be easily viewed from the glass circle and the adjustable blade is clamped to a rotating member which carries this microscope so an adjustable blade also is fixed to the rotating member for the carrying of these microscope and when the aid of microscope it is possible to read by estimation to about 2 degrees that is with about 2 degrees it is possible to read the estimation of the microscope readings and universal bevel protractor is also same with accurate and precise measurements up to 5 readings so there is universal bevel protractor that is the general type of general uh, bevel protractor it to be used without the optical measuring instruments so that is also same with the accurate and precise measurements which is up to 5 inches so this universal bevel protractor is generally commonly used bevel protractor next this is a graduated angular measurement of these protractors so the, the, in this picture you can see different types of protractors the first one is the simple protractor so we are using the simple type of protractor that is the it can measure angles from 0 to 180 degrees that is up to semicircle semicircular protractor so the general type of protractor is shown here which is attached to a base plate and the readings can be verified here and next one this is the universal bevel protractor so this is the generally used protractor in which the main scale consists of four portions of cuttings 0 to 90 degrees that is for 90 degrees portions have been used 0 to 90 90 to 180 180 to 270 and 270 to 360 so these are the four different portions of 90 degrees and these two bevel protractors are with the measuring acute and obtuse angles so these are the readings so in this you can see the how to read an angle on a bevel protractor so that is how to read a bevel protractor so in a main scale division one degree is equal to 60 mm so here one degree is equal to 60 mm that is in the vernier scale divisions it is the 1 by 12 of the main divisions that is approximately equal to 0 0.08 double the degree that is 5 mm and the highest figure to be used is the 50 degrees in the 
main scale divisions and the matching figure for the Weber protract is 4 that is in the vernier divisions up to 20 mm the final reading is 50.33 degrees so that is 50 degrees and 20 minutes so this is the final reading so this this is how we use it to uh, measure the an angle on a bevel protract this is how we used to uh, measure it in the bevel protract device so next to this is on the same bevel protractor diagram this is the main scale and this is the vernier scale and this is the blade and this is the base plate attached to that and this is the acute angle measurement of the vernier bevel protractor so this is used for the measuring acute angles only so this is of the same picture And in the next slide, we can see the types of bevel protractors. So, in these types of bevel protractors, there are mainly classified into two types. First one is the mechanical type bevel protractor, and second one is the optical bevel protractor. And in these, first type is the mechanical bevel protractor. These mechanical bevel protractors are classified into totally four types that is A, B, C, and D. So, totally they are divided into four main types. It is called as A type mechanical bevel protractor, B type mechanical bevel protractor, and C type and the D type. And in the A type, it is provided with all five adjustment device or acute angle attachment. In the A-type mechanical bevel protractor, it is fine adjusted to the acute angle attachment. And in the B-type, there is no fine adjustment device or acute angle attachment. So in the mechanical bevel protractor, there is no acute angle attachment, but in the A type, it has acute angle attachment. Next one, the scales of the all types are graduated either as a fully circle marked from 0 to 90, 90 to 0 or 0 to 90, that is in the clockwise or anti-clockwise with one vernier or as semi-circle marked, that is 0 to 90 and 90 to 0. So that is 0 to 90 degrees from the clockwise end and 90 to the 0 from the anti-clockwise end. So that is of the two types. That is 0 to 90, 90 to 0 with two verniers that is 180 degrees apart. So the two verniers to be 180 degrees apart from this scale. And Type C and D is not provided with the verniers or fine adjustment device or acute angle attachment. So these C type mechanical bevel protractor and D type mechanical bevel protractor is not provided by the vernier or fine adjustment device or without any angle, acute angle attachment. So this VCD has no acute angle adjustments regarding to the A type. Next one, in the optical bevel protractor, so in the classification, first one is the mechanical type bevel protractor. 
and second one is the optical type dual protractor so in the optical type dual protractor it is possible to take readings up to approximately 2 degrees of arc that is 2 minutes of arc so in these optical dual protractors the readings can be taken up to approximate conditions of 2 minutes of arc and the provision is made for an internal circular scale which is graduated in 10 divisions of 10 minutes of arc. So these are graduated in the mechanical engravements of this scale and equally divided into graduated markings which is of 10 minutes of arc and these readings are taken against a fixed index line or vernier by means of an optical magnifying system which is internal with the instrument. So these are to be taken by the optical magnifying system only which is the internal scale with the of the instrument. So this is of the optical bevel protractor. And in the optical bevel protractor, the scale is graduated as a full circle marked from 0 to 90 and 90 to 0 and 0 to 90. So from the clockwise and anti-clockwise directions, these are fully marked devices which is of 0 to 90 and 90 to 0 and 0 to 90. So these are marked on the both ways that is in the each way of the main scale. And the zero positions corresponded to the condition when the blade is parallel to the stock. So when the base blade is that is the when the base blade is parallel to the stock, you need to set the zero positions that is the zero positions corresponding to the condition so this is the main one so for any mechanical instrument you need to set up zero setting while using a yeah, starting a instrument to measure and the provision is also made for adjusting the focus of the system to accommodate normal variations in the eye so these are also used these provisions which are also made for the adjustment the focus of the system to accommodate the normal variations in the eyesight and the scale and the vernier are so arranged that they are always in the focus in the optical system so the scale means here main scale so main scale and the vernier scale are so arranged that they are always in the focus in the optical system because they are used to generally measure the readings so that is why they are on the always in the focus in the optical system so that is about the optical bevel protractor and next we are going to study the general description of the various components of the bevel protractor in that first one is the body the body of the bevel protractor so the body is designed in such a way that its back is flat so back side of the optical uh, sorry bevel protractor is flat and there are no projections beyond its back so there is no projections beyond its back so that when the bevel protractor is placed on its back on a surface plate there shall be no perceptible rock so there shall be no perceptible stock in the surface plate and the flatness of the working edge of the stock and the body is tested by the checking of the squareness of the blade so the flatness generally is checked by the squareness squareness means so whether it is allowed in the parallelism scales or that is in the right angle triangles. So that is called the squareness of the stock when the blade is set at 90 degrees. So when the blade is set at the right angle position, you need to check the squareness of the blade by 
setting the it to the parallel edges. So that is of the body type. Next one is the stock. In the stock, the working edge of the stock is about 90 mm in length and 7 mm in thickness. So the stock is a blade type structure in the river protractor and it is up to and the length is about 90 mm and the thickness is 7 mm only. And the stock is very essential that the working edge of the stock is be perfectly straight and if at all departure is there. So generally it is used to be straight in position if all departure is there and it should be in the form of concavity and of the order of 0.01 mm maximum over the whole span. Whole span means total span of the stock is above concavity of 0.01 mm maximum. So that is the whole span structure that is of the stock type. Next one is the blade. The blade can be moved along the turret throughout its length and can also be reversed. So the blade can, the blade can be moved in the either position that is in the two position and it is above 152 or 300 mm long because it can be variant in two positions that is in the 150 mm or 300 mm long and its width is 3 mm and thickness is 2 mm and these ends beveled at the angles of 40 degrees and 60 degrees within the accuracy of 5 minutes. So that is up to 5 minutes it can get an accurate of or and its working edge should be straight up to 0 0.02 mm and parallel up to 0 0.03 mm or entire length of 300 mm. and it can be clamped at any position according to their references and according to their importance to be given to the blade. So these are the positions of the blade and the total measurements which is of 150 or 300 mm. There are two variants. There are two variants and it is of 3 mm width and 2 mm thickness can be measured angles of 45 degrees and 60 degrees up to 5 minutes of R. Next one is the acute angle attachment. So it can be readily fitted into the body and clamped in any position. So this acute angle attachment is an attachment where we can fix it to the body and clamp it any position. And its working edge should be so flat to within 0.005 mm and parallel to the working edge of the stock within 0.015 mm over the entire length of attachment. So that is the readings of the working edge with an acute angle attachment. So that is the of the minute charges only that is of minute measurements that is up to 0.015 mm 
of the entire length of attachment. So these are the three types of attachment. First one is the using bevel protractor for checking the inside bevel rays of face of a ground surface. Second one is the use of bevel protractor for checking the weave block. So when we are going to uh, study the weave block measurement, it is going to see the bevel protractor checking also. And last one is the use of vernier protractor for measuring acute angles. So this is the workpiece to be measured in the acute angle measurement. So these are the general attachments of the acute angle attachment of different sections. That is the usage of bevel protractors for any other sections. And next coming to the applications of vernier bevel protractor. These figures shows the different various applications of the vernier bevel protractors. This first one shows the use of bevel protractor for checking the inside bevel face of a ground surface. So that is the ground surface. This is the workpiece to be measured. And these veneers and sorry, base plate is to be placed on that. And the acute angle attachment is measured to this angle. So this is the angle to be measured there. Next one is the use of bevel protractor for checking the V block. So we can also check the angle of the V block measurement. So generally, V block measurement is used for measuring the circular positions only. That is by uh, using the balls. So two spherical balls we can use. So first one is the small block, and that is small ball with smaller diameter. Next one is the larger ball with larger diameter but by the use of bevel protractor also we can measure the v block angle the next one is the use of bevel protractor for measuring acute angles so this is the workpiece to be measured and this is the base plate and this is the acute angle attachment so by fixing the acute angle attachment scale to the angular position of the workpiece we are going to lock that acute angle attachment and the base plate attachment so when these positions are fixed and we are going to check the reading of the main scale and the vernier scale in the vernier bevel protract so this is the general purpose and general moment of taking or measuring the acute angle attachment So next picture of measuring the acute angles and the obtuse angles with the bevel protractor by using acute angle attachment. So this is measuring the acute angles and this is measuring the obtuse angles. Next, as shown in the figure, these vernier bevel protractor consists of a main scale which is graduated in degrees of arc. So, this is the main scale reading which is graduated in degrees of arc, and the vernier scale has 12 divisions each side of the center zero. So, from the center zero. It has 12 equal divisions of, from the center zero mark on both sides. That is on the both positions of the vernier scale. So this is the 12 divisions from the center zero. So from the center zero it has 12 divisions and these are marked as 0 to 60 degrees of arc so that each division equals to the 
one by twelfth portion of the sixty day minutes. That is five minutes of hour. So total we have twelve divisions, and it is divided to the sixty minutes. That is one hour portion. So each degree is divided into. That is each division is divided into five minutes of hour. So that is multiplied to the five minutes of hour. These twelve divisions occupy the same space as twenty-three degrees on the main scale. So the total twelve divisions of the scale multiplies the twenty-three degrees of the portion on the main scale. So here in the picture you can see the twenty-three degrees mark, which is marked on the scale main scale. To the twelve divisions marked on the vernier scale. And therefore, each division of the vernier is equal to one by twelfth of the twenty-three degrees, or one into eleven by twelve. That is the mixed fraction element, but that is the one by twelfth of the twenty-three degrees. So this comes on that. And next, thus the reading of the vernier wave protract equals to the the largest whole degree on the main scale plus the reading on the vernier scale in the line with a main scale division. Here you can see it in the picture also. This 45 degree mark on the vernier scale coincides with the 60 degree mark in the main scale. So these two are the coinciding lines. In the vernier scale reading attachment, and main scale reading is we are taking it as 51 degrees. That is the in a zero position. It coincides with the approximate value of 51 degrees. Plus, the vernier mark is of 45 because. The 45 mark is strictly coincides with the vernier scale reading. That is the vernier 45 mark in line with the main scale. So that is total of 50, 51 degrees and 45 minutes. So that the reading to be calculated is 51 degrees and 45 minutes. So that is the least possible element of the reading of a vernier bevel protractor to be measured next this optical bevel protractor is have a circle divided at one minute intervals throughout the circle which is fitted inside the body so these regular intervals of time is fitted in the inside the body therefore it can calculate at One minute intervals throughout the circle, and a small microscope is fitted through the which the circle graduations can be viewed. So this can be viewed with the circle graduations of a small microscope, and an adjustable blade is clamped to a rotating member which carries its microscope. So. An adjustable blade also is fixed on it to rotate the the member which carries its microscope attachment. So that is the main functionality of the optical bevel protractor. And this is the combinational sets of these. optical bevel protractor so here you can see the protractor head and the center head this is the steel rule in which these combination sets have to be attached and this is the square head so this is the front view of the combination of sets in which It has the center head and the lock bolt. This is the protractor head. 
only chip consists of a spirit level at the center and a lock bolt on the surface of the spirit level and direct reading scale this is the main scale reading and next one it consists of the <coughs> scriber attachment and a spirit level vertical position <coughs> next a square head and a lock bolt so these are considered to be the combinational sets for the double protractor readings so this is all about the uh, vernier double protractor or general double protractor in brief and in the next classes we can study about the other angular measurements Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.